today we are going to have this first video of English grammar. In this video, we will try to know application of grammar in everyday use. Nowadays, in classes from class 9 onwards, most of the questions are functional in nature. Earlier, what was the case? You used to get question like what is noun, what is pronoun, what is adjective, translations, examples you need to write. But nowadays the things are changed. So if you want to prepare for your board exams class 10 and for class 11 and even in class 12 there are marks for grammar if you commit any grammatical mistakes, marks are cut. So, application of grammar is important in all classes. Class 12 students, they cannot say that because now they are in class 12, they do not need grammar. It is required for them. But the problem with the teaching of grammar is that most of the time teachers they are teaching with the old method unfortunately it is going on everywhere teacher is telling definition then he is telling you some examples then worksheet you are given to solve and you feel now things are over but from there things are starting so make sure if you are going for grammar you are going for lifelong learning whenever you read anything Whenever you speak to some person whom you trust for application of grammar in a correct way, you must try to see how tenses are applied, which tense is applied, how models are being used, how adjectives uh, he is using not so much and in what way he is making very small sentences and with the help of small sentences he can convey very easily. Sometimes what happens? You try to speak everything in one sentence and as a result you commit many mistakes in writing and speaking so try to speak in a small sentences and grammar particularly tenses they are the backbone of writing and speaking you know there are three tenses present past future and all three tenses present indefinite, past indefinite, future indefinite, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. 
present perfect past perfect future perfect present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future perfect continuous and then you have there helping verbs and main verbs you must be knowing but the problem is that we do not know where to use which tense tense means time as per the time as per the situation as per the effectiveness you need to decide about tenses suppose you are telling a general fact i always speak truth you are using present indefinite but in some way you speak like i do speak truth here you don't see any tense as per the knowledge of your previous grammar of present indefinite but that also we can put in present indefinite same way i did this work past indefinite it is very clear but if you say like this i did it it is just a recent past so in such cases there is no confusion but suppose you want to say something that you are studying here in this school from around uh, 10 years then how can you say you cannot say that i am studying in this school from 2001 or 2010 or 2015 you need to use present continuous in very specific way specific way and uh, present perfect continuous here you would use i have been studying here in this school since 2010 so you need to decide as per your need and choice suppose we are taking here class then you can say i am taking my class online so here you do not require to tell the duration or point of time so here you can use present continuous same way past indefinite and past perfect when casually we are saying we will say i did it but especially if you are telling something that you had completed that thing or there is no distinction that is left you can say i had done it so in both way you are correct but effectiveness wise you must see these kind of cases same is the case of shall and will earlier when we were a student our teacher they used to say with i we we use shall and with other things we use will but now you must know that uh, this particular thing is old now when you are saying i shall not steal here you are telling something that you are going to do always but when you say i will not steal here you will see you are telling a general fact that casually you do not go for such kind of things so same same can be the case in other tenses also so you cannot expect that you know helping verb and main verb and you can use tenses for this kind of enterprise you need to be very particular when you are reading your book or when you are listening or when you yourself feel to speak in english and it is better for all of us whenever we have the choice if you want to improve your english particularly english grammar you need to go for watching 
English news, that can be on radio, that can be on television, and that can be anywhere on any app. But to enrich yourself every day, there are very good books on functional grammar that you can read, you can keep by your side and every day at least one page or two page you try to just see and whenever possible you can use that knowledge in day-to-day -day application so when we have our next class we will have that book and we will take uh, many examples from that book that generally can make us aware yes this is the way people are using english grammar effectively like here you see generally when we listen to commentary when somebody is out we say he is out but you just listen to the commentator he is saying he is gone and after some time when umpire gives decision that then he says he has gone like this you know he is gone if you say oh, there is no you know particular tense but one thing is clear it is clearly visible that a stump is out there is no doubt about it but officially when empire says then only we are confirmed yes he is out that is why he is saying he has gone and now you see that person has gone already from the pitch because he knows that bat batsman he knows that he is out but because umpire decision is required for confirmation that is why commentator he is saying he has gone right so you got some idea how we use tenses in day to day application this way you can learn in many advertisements you find uh, a wrong kind of English is being used that you can say the misuse of English or misuse of language because there all kind of cheating is going on all kind of false promises are going on so we very particular be aware that this is the place is not for learning this is the place to watch to see that there can be the misuse of language and that you are not going to do once you lose control on your language you do not know where you would land up so be very particular before you speak or before you write any word you are writing please make sure whether this thing is desired or not if that thing is not desired kindly do not uh, use your language silence is the best language when you feel you are not going to do benefit of anyone when you know that you are not going to get any kind of mental peace and happiness words they are very very powerful if you are using your words judiciously you do not know sky is the limit even people you see in the movies they are not of so much of a strong character but people respect them in politics people they do not keep their words still people respect them and you just see suppose you are a person you speak and you keep your word you keep your promises 
you do not misuse your expertise of language you do not know how much greatness can come as that come from nature i always make videos in the company of nature either in the company of nature or in my study where i have the same kind of solitude same kind of quietness same kind of tranquility that we find in nature because in silence nature takes over your nature takes over there is no effect of any artificial things so if you really want that you should uh, improve your grammar you try to follow these things thank you it's all for today have a nice day